Drop a like on this video in the next 5 seconds if you guys want to get 100,000 V-Bucks on your Fortnite account. What's going on friends and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video here on to the channel. In today's video we are back showing off some brand new XP glitches, methods, and pretty much overall the fastest way that you guys can obtain yourselves some XP here in Season 5. So that way you can grind through all of the tiers on your battle pass, hit level 100 really quick, and also unlock some of the awesome crystal styles here for all of your battle pass skins, which I know all of you guys are trying to grind up to level 225 and get all of these zero point styles unlocked as well now before we dive into that we got to go ahead and send our daily gift to a lucky subscriber and the nagops and utilized ranger are actually back in the shop fortnite is bringing some of the christmas vibes and winterfest is actually right around the corner which i'm very excited about as well so i'm gonna hook a few people up with one of the most og and iconic fortnite skins here in the game ah unfortunately i only have two gifts remaining but that's all good so the first gift is going to tomb scissor 16961 and the second gift is going to go to ember 9904 so shout out to you guys for supporting the channel i appreciate it and if you want to be like them and receive a gift in a future video all you have to do is drop a like make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on and also leave your epic usernames down below so i can add you and send you the gift and if you guys are going to be buying anything in the fortnite item shop make sure to use my supporter creator code nerpa it really helps me out and it supports the channel so thank you to everyone that's using the code all right so diving right into the video there is a few key points and there's a few different methods that you can actually utilize in Fortnite to get as much XP as humanly possible so that way you do not waste any time and you can grind through the levels as fast as possible here in Fortnite's Battle Royale. So first things first, I'm actually going to hop into a solo game and show you guys one of these strategies that's very easy to do and anyone's going to be able to do it. You don't have to be good at Fortnite. It doesn't rely on you getting a ton of eliminations. It's really simple and I'm going to show you guys exactly where to land and how you actually go about doing this. So where you're going to want to do this little XP glitch and method is actually going to be right up here at the apple orchid you guys will see exactly why this area of the map is so important for this glitch but it's super easy to do and it's honestly really really effective all right we have loot i'm gonna go take this guy out and then i'm gonna show you guys exactly why we landed at the apple orchid because i know this is kind of a weird spot to land wait what the heck he was up here Yo, why were you? Why was this guy just creeping up here? Okay, that kind of scared me. All right, well, now that we took everyone out, basically the reason that we landed here and the method that we're going to be doing is basically a method where you go around and collect all of the forage that is around here. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to go ahead and make sure you have inventory space. And literally every time that you gather and collect one of these foraged items, it is going to give you a good chunk of XP. So you guys can see here, that I am literally getting a ton of XP. We already got over a thousand. And the reason why this area of the map is so good is because there is a bunch of these foraged items located all around this area since it's basically an apple orchid and it's a farm. So you guys can see here, we are still gathering. And just from this little patch alone, we got 4,000 XP instantly. You don't even have to be good at the game, and it's very, very quick and easy to do. Now, the cool thing about this strategy as well is after you collect all the cabbage, there is also this apple area right here as well that you can then go ahead and collect all the apples, and it will give you the same amount of XP per apple that you pick up. So basically, this method is very simple. It just entails you landing here, gathering all of the foraged items that are all over the ground, and then continuing playing the game, and it's going to give you a nice little boost of of XP at the very beginning of every single game you play and on top of that this area of the map is really cool because you do have an NPC so if you are trying to grind and save up gold and get some exotic weapons you're able to do that and this isn't really a popular landing spot so most of the times you'll be able to get all of the loot here and so you'll be able to play out the rest of the game getting a bunch of XP and you'll have a lot of really good loot to start the game I mean look at I already have a shotgun AR I have a bunch of minis and now I also have a bunch of apples that I can use to heal me later in game as well we have a few more over here so let's grab these and there we go i'm pretty sure we got every single apple and cabbage from this area which is the main goal of landing here and what's really cool is since you collected all this you're actually going to be able to get 35 gold because you actually got a bunch of the forged items so we got a quest active 
and uh, it's pretty much easy gold from that point on. And there we go. We just got 35 more bars of gold just like that. Easy peasy. Now, the next method of ranking up fast and getting a ton of XP here, and I know this is a very common one and a basic one, so I'm not going to spend too much time, but, but one thing you really want to focus on while playing the game and just doing any other of these methods that I'm showing you guys is you want to make sure that you are completing all of your quests that you have active on your account that grant you XP because these will truly rank you up faster than anything else in the game. And if you utilize doing all of these quests, it will really, really take your account to the next level and you will grind levels a lot quicker than if you were just ignoring these and not going out of your way to complete them. Like, look, one of my quests right here is literally to consume apples. And after doing that last strategy I showed you, I had 15 apples. So all I had to do was take a little bit of fall damage, take three of them, and that would have got me a bonus 10,000 XP. So moral of the story here is with the quest and the brand new challenge outline that they have here for season five, make sure that you actively check all of these because these are very, very important. And you want to make sure that you utilize this because if you don't, you're going to be missing out on a ton of XP. A lot of the challenges give you 15,000, 20,000, 10,000. And uh, some of the bigger ones like this actually give you 55,000, which alone will level you up multiple times depending on where you're at. Now, the strategy that I'm going to be explaining and showing you guys briefly here in Team Rumble is known as the chest and ammo crate loot loot strategy, which basically entails you landing at a POI that has a bunch of different chest spawned locations. And from there, you're basically just going to make sure that you loot and open up every single chest and ammo crate in that spot. So out of all of the POIs that we have on our half the map, I think Dirty Docks has a pretty good amount of chests. So I'm going to land there. Hopefully I don't have too many teammates going there as well. And the reason that we are doing the strategy in Team Rumble and not a solo duo or squad on top of the fact that you're able to respawn, so it doesn't even matter if you get eliminated, is the fact that in Team Rumble, there is 100% spawn rates for chest and ammo crates, but in Team Rumble, they spawn 100% of the time, which is really, really awesome. Hey, and look at that. We just got a challenge. Don't even know what I did, but we leveled up to 113, which is nice. And uh, from here, all you're going to do is basically loot up every single ammo crate and chest that you find in game. It's a really, really easy strategy to do. And you guys can see here that when you open a chest, it gives you 650 XP, which is actually crazy when you think about it because that doesn't take any skill at all. And that is basically like the equivalent of getting like five eliminations. So the fact that you can just go around open up all these chests and get a bunch of XP is what makes it really effective. And you guys can see here that when you open an ammo crate, it gives you 475. So literally you opening a chest and an ammo crate will give you 1000 XP, which is already insane. So basically, so since there is 100% spawn rates in Team Rumble, you're just going to go around and try to find a POI that has a bunch of chest and ammo crate spawns. And then from there, you're just going to go around and basically loot and open them all and then play the rest of the game out normally. And it's really, really easy to do. You then can play the rest of the game out and what's awesome is you get easily the most amount of eliminations in this game mode as opposed to you playing duos, squads, or solos, mainly because the enemies respawn. So if you're a decent player, you could probably drop 20 to 30 eliminations every single time you're playing Team Rumble, which will equivalent to a bunch of XP as opposed to a squad game where you might not even get 10 eliminations in one match. So I'm just going to continue to open up all these chests and show you guys 650 more XP. And what's really cool about this is it's very, very easy to do and uh, after a while if you keep landing at the same POIs over and over again you'll actually kind of memorize where some of the chest and ammo crate spawns are which will make you even more efficient and quicker at doing this strategy which I think is really cool so we're gonna keep opening this we got another scar that's actually really lucky unfortunately dirty docks was really really far out of the zone so I don't have as much time as I normally would to find and loot all of the chest and ammo crates but uh, nonetheless, this was very, very effective. Oh, there's actually one more chest over here. Let's see. Let me grab this one last chest real quick. Get some more XP. Gold minigun. I will definitely take that. And then uh, from here, you can pretty much just play the rest of the game out. Try to get a bunch of eliminations. And you are going to be ranking through... And you are going to be absolutely cranking through all of your battle pass tiers while doing the strategy, especially if you're completing challenges on top of doing this as well. But with all that being said, that is all I got for you guys in today's video. If you guys have any XP methods or glitches that you utilize to rank up quick here in Fortnite Season 5, let me know down in the comment section as well so you guys can help each other out and open up more opportunities to rank up fast here in Fortnite. I'd love to know your feedback. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.